Hello, hello, Anil. Do you hear me? Hello. Yes, I can. Hello, Omers. Super. Greetings, Hi. greetings from uh, Estonia. It's a really nice morning. It's snowing. How is how is your weather and how, what what time is? Uh, it's uh, eleven fifteen in the night and it's perfect twenty degrees here in Santa Monica, <laughs> Los Angeles. All right. Uh, it's eleven fifteen in the evening. Yes. It's a little bit different than uh, we have yeah. right now. <laughs> but yes, thank you. I would say. But thank you, Anil. Um, today we are introducing uh, to your dear guests uh, our um, trainer who will be in Estonia really soon, Anil Chandavani. Chandavani, Chandavani, Chandavani. I will, I will need to practice it a little bit more. But Anil. <laughs> You did it very good, as close as you can do it, you did it. <laughs> thanks, thanks, That's thanks. Impressive. That's very impressive, Ormas. Thanks for that. For uh, introduction, uh, Anil will be our trainer and we, um, we were searching the right guy or girl a really long time um, and our need was that he or she must have business environment or business background, hardcore business background, and then the mental understanding how to balance yourself. So Anil, maybe you can talk a little bit about your background. It's really interesting. Thank you, Urmas. Thank you for inviting me to this, uh, to this conference and meeting in Estonia. Um, I'm a meditation mentor uh, and a transformation coach. Uh, my background uh, is in business. Uh, I came to America at a young age after my graduation as an engineer and I created multiple companies, actually 11 companies. Um, I came to America with no money and I had made a promise to myself at age 21 when I was graduating that I'll step out of the working world, uh, working for money uh, by 42. I kept that promise and uh, successfully created and sold my companies. Now I travel around the world sharing what tools and techniques I used uh, in my business world for success uh, and what helped me manage my stress, my anxiety, uh, and all the pressures of the business. So now I travel around the world um, sharing that, what uh, I have learned in the process. Thank you. Thank you. I really like that. I really like that. And uh, I think all our questions in our everyday life and, and all the entrepreneurs' everyday life, they are pretty much the same. Uh, how to balance yourself. So I have, I have some small questions for you uh, and I will ask it and then you can just, you can answer it how you, how you feel about that. So first of all, uh, what do you think, what is the biggest reason of uh, anxiety? Why anxiety occurs? Or we have it in everyday life. Everybody has it. What's the, what's the background? What's the reason? Um, my understanding is this, that stress, first stress and anxiety have to be understood as two separate things. So they're very easily interchangeable. So very easy to get confused with the two words. Now, stress is a natural response to something external pressure. You know, it's natural to feel stress if you're going for a job interview or if you have a deadline. So something external, you know, triggers stress. Now, anxiety is a condition when we are unable to manage this response. So it's, it triggers a feeling. It's an uncontrollable feeling of a doomsday that everything will come to an end. When we start fearing that this will end up into worst thing, uh, that triggers anxiety in us. Now, anxiety, in some ways, we learn when we are little, you know, the worries and the fear. It is a response that we learn to protect ourselves. We have done as human beings for thousands of years. Now, when, we, when this response is triggered and we do not know how to manage that internally, it's like driving a car without brakes. And we just don't know how to stop it. And it invariably ends in a crash. Um, so that's literally a learned response uh, that many people don't know how to control. That's yeah, my understanding. <laughs> Thank you. I think uh, I feel anxiety too. 
I think um, everybody feels it. So anonymous uh, anxiety is normal. Anxiety is natural. One out of fourteen people have it. Anxiety is normal. Uh, anxiety sometimes helps us to be safe and protects us, gets us to uh, meet deadlines. But when it becomes uncontrollable, it becomes an anxiety disorder. That's, I think that's what you're talking about. Exactly, exactly. Exactly, this, this one, what I'm talking about. Uh, my next question, um, our quest will be managers and entrepreneurs. And uh, usually those guys and girls, they will take big responsibility. They are responsible of their teams and their uh, colleagues. So um, you have really good techniques, how to balance and how to control yourself. Is it correct? You know, I share what my experience is. Um, the tools and techniques of mindfulness, meditation, breath and movement. Uh, so we use many, many techniques, uh, many tools to manage that. But first and foremost, what is very important is one has to really take time almost to understand what is triggering, what is making your cup full and overflow with stress. So every day, every human being is managing four things. You know, we are managing relationships with our family and children and social, you know, one part. Then we are managing our relationship with our business and work situation. Uh, then we have our relationship uh, with, with ourselves, you know, what we are doing. And then the, the things that we need to do for our home to keep our home going. There are many things at home, paying our bills and bringing stuff so that we have breakfast and lunch. So our list on a daily basis combines uh, four things. As a starting point, you know, if anyone in a high profile situation starts to divide the list in four parts, if you start looking at the list in four different categories, as I divided them, and then you ask yourself some simple questions, you know, what outcome are you looking for? You know, what is your purpose? And then based on that, you make an action plan. So you have to prioritize. So if you, could, if you just mash them up and make one big list of 80 things, no one can manage it. No one can manage it. Even Superman cannot manage it. So we have to learn these skills, how to manage. Um, and that's what we cover in the workshop. That's what we do when we meet uh, for uh, this one day, two day, five day courses that we create. Um, how to do that, you know, how to separate, how to prioritize. And then the purposeful questions of what exactly is the purpose. And then based on that, you create your action plan. Super. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, as I understand, everything is um, related with briefing and then and, and you need to brief. Uh, I'm doing uh, lots of presentations and then... And I feel that I need to learn more about how I breathe. It's, it's so common for everybody, but it's so important yeah. if, you, if you are in some uh, anxiety situation or that kind of uh, mm, not, so, not so easy situation as you are in your everyday life, if you are an entrepreneur or, or manager too. Is it correct? Hey, absolutely, Urmas. Breath is the key you know, the body posture and breath. Uh, majority of the world is breathing as we grow up. All children, all animals are breathing correctly. As we grow up based on the trauma, based upon the pressure and situations and physical situations in life, we reverse our breathing to vertical breathing. So we start breathing in the wrong way. We are breathing very shallow. When we do shallow breathing, we are actually constantly supporting the fight, flight, and freeze mechanism in the brain. If we learn to change the body postures and breathing, if we learn to do correct breathing, and that's what we do in our workshops and seminars, if we pause and learn to breathe correctly, we can quickly switch the response to rest and digest mode. And it's very easy. Once you get the knack, you get it. And that's what we practice. 
Uh, it's a very short window before the brain starts to release the poison, the cortisol in the system. Uh, we can in just five short breaths reverse the system and get into the rest and digest mode. I like that. I want to learn that. Really, I want to learn. It's it's so it's so necessary. Yeah, it's so necessary yeah. to him. So we call this course, this short course, um, uh, Inner CEO. It's a really nice name. Do you feel? Yes. What is the background, Inner CEO? What it means? Is, is somebody inside yeah. of me in my head? <laughs> you know. Uh, all my life, I managed companies and I was CEO of all my companies. And um, so I designed this course, as I shared with you at the beginning, uh, was that um, I'm only sharing what I have experienced and learned in my actual life. Uh, that's all I'm sharing with anyone right now. So as a CEO, all the techniques that I learned and one of the gifts that came to me during the process of learning mindfulness and meditation is that if I do not know how to manage myself. There is no way I can manage someone else. Yeah. So my projects, other people. So this is a self-management system of looking at oneself, you know, the body-mind connection, the emotions and the being connection. So it is a system designed to find the interrelation between the body-mind, between emotions and being, and how each other effect, you know, how the mind can impact the body, how the movement of the body or the posture of the body or the breathing can impact the mind and how that can create a totally different response and emotions. So Inner CEO is a course that I've created um, for self-management, if you will. The learning to manage oneself as if you were running a company. All right. It's, yeah, I, again, again, it's interesting. So um, Anil, we have really practical people in Estonia and they want to, uh, they, they want to make practical things. So this yeah. uh, introduction course, is it practical? You know, um, it, one of the things that I have seen in my life that thinking doesn't change anything. You know, if you keep on thinking, um, you know, you cannot just look at the treadmill and keep thinking about treadmill and talking about treadmill. You actually have to get on the treadmill. You actually have to start running on treadmill and experience that workout. Uh, then you talk differently. Then you experience it differently. And unless it becomes your experience or must, nothing changes. No new, no new connections are made in the brain. So most of the workshops, no matter how small or long they are, we make them experiential. So we learn in this course, in whatever time we will have, whether we will do this as a one-day course or a three-day course, um, what we do is we learn our working style. So everyone has a style of working. You know, they are compulsive workers, they are perfectionists, they are people pleasers, they are people who are control freaks. Um, so once you define, once you understand what is your style of working, then you, we go backwards and see how you have learned that. And unless you unlearn, like I said in the beginning, unless you understand what triggers your stress response, what triggers your anxiety, unless you learn that you cannot change that, you can keep taking medicines, you can keep doing positive affirmations, but it doesn't change anything. But once you take the time, once you go through the process to see it might be a learned response. It might be something from the childhood that you have acquired. It might not be necessary to carry and work the way you are working right now. Uh, it might be just a mechanical habit. It might be just a way for you to protect yourself that was necessary once upon a time when you when we are little, but it might not be necessary now. So in the workshop, what we do is we go through these practical steps to see how we have acquired our working styles and how that is triggering uh, the stress. So yes, a lot of practical tools around breathing, around movement, around exercise to learn more and more about ourselves. And that's the whole purpose of the inner CEO and self-management. I like that. I like that already. So Aril, first of all, thank you. Thank you for this short introduction to our course. We will meet you at the uh, on Friday, April twenty seventh, 
at 9 uh, 9 a.m. on the morning in Bliss Conference Center. I will put this information uh, to invitation too. So thank you. We will see you, and, and let's hope it doesn't snow anymore if you are coming here. <laughs> <laughs> I, first, thank you very much for inviting me and doing this. Uh, I'm looking forward to being there. This is my first time. I have spent a lot of time in Baltics. I have spent a lot of time in Europe, but this is my first time in Estonia, and I'm really excited and looking forward to meeting you and your friends there. Um, and for sure, please, no snow. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's snow. You know, we live in Los Angeles where there is no snow. So, but I look forward to being there and seeing your beautiful country and meeting you all. Thank you. Alrighty. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.